and I'll tell you all about it coming up. All right, Mike, thanks. It is probably the last thing on your mind now. Flood water, levees, and sandbags. But for officials in Hannibal, they are still working through how they'll pay for the work that kept the city safe during spring flooding. WGEM's Frank Healy reports on the long process of applying for assistance. Marion County Emergency Management Director John Hark says he and other officials from Hannibal and Marion County met with FEMA representatives earlier this month to go over how to apply for public assistance. This is public assistance, which covers roads, bridges, storm sewers, and you know, overtime labor, equipment, uh, sandbags. He says the paperwork they're working on will cover the work he mentioned and damages like the storm sewer, but isn't designed to help individuals and businesses impacted. Business owners or those type folks that have anything, if they're looking for a low interest loan, they contact the S SBA now and work out their own details. And Hark says with the floodgates removed and the response complete, now it's left is for the city to figure out how much was spent responding to the flood. So there is um, still cleanup going on. Andy Dorian, director of central services in Hannibal, says they're still finding small things to add to the list of damages. City officials say because of that, even now they're working with FEMA to figure out what will and won't be covered while they compile the list of expenses. Um, it's just a lot going on and then in the, in the meantime, we still got to maintain the entire park system. So we can't just throw all our resources at you know flood cleanup because we still got to do everything else. And so that's kind of why it's been a gradual process. Park says now that they're in line, they'll have to wait as they aren't the only ones facing difficulties this year. And when you're talking about the federal people, you know, they got a lot of states to cover. It just didn't happen right here in Hannibal, Missouri. Frank Healy, WGEM News, Hannibal. All right, Frank, thank you. Here's some more information on that story. One business that was impacted was the Mark Twain Brewery. Management of the brewery says insurance won't cover the damage, and they've yet to see any other kind of assistance. Hark says, according to guidelines, the city did not qualify for individual assistance. Officials at the Lee County Sheriff's Office are thanking the community tonight after they say several citizens detained a man who ran and hid from deputies following a high-speed chase in a stolen truck on Monday. Lee County Sheriff Stacy Weber says the victim identified as Scott Flora along with two others are now in custody. He says residents noticed him near Argyle yesterday and held him until deputies arrived. Our department works very